All right, here we go. We're going to do a little screencast for you guys because um, I am going to be gone Tuesday and Wednesday. So we're going to be doing PadCAD. I'm going to give you the walkthrough of what I want you to do. Um, eighth graders can use this as a tool if you want. Seventh graders, this is a refresher from yesterday. So going through the tools on the screen here, we have got... The undo and redo on the top corner. Got the joystick tool or the selector tool, which is next. That's highlighted blue. Then we have the walls. So if you double click it, you can pick any of the different lines on there, different sizes. So if you want to build countertops with those or anything you want to draw that's not a wall, you can select those. Or the circles are also in there. <laughs> to get out of them, you have to actually click the one you want. Next is the freestyle lines. They're kind of hard to use, not super useful, but that's what's in there. I double click that. Next is the rectangle. Under the rectangle you could do your square with walls. This is how you get square footage, stairs, or just a square with lines. The square with lines you may want to use for a deck the, or a flat screen TV anything that won't have walls or you can make like an island inside your house so that would all be there okay so we're gonna start with the square with walls remember if you look in the top left hand corner my area is showing up in the directions it's gonna tell you how big of a square footage I want you to get so I'm gonna get close to 500 for this one there it popped up automatically perfect if I want to show the lengths of my walls, I can double click on the wall and hit show length. And then I can click on this wall, show length. Okay. Then at one of the requirements is going to be to show me your square footage. So you can put click on the square footage now. You drag this diagonally over the top. It gives us our square footage. If I want to write on there, I can double click it. Put main floor of tiny house. I can change the font. Done. There we go. Okay, so I got my square footage up there. Next, I'm going to put stairs because I'm going to build a little loft in here. I can double click my stairs and that'll allow me to make them narrower and stair width because I don't want them super wide because I got a tiny house here. So I'll make them two feet wide. Okay. So I put those into place. So that's everything in the square tool. Next is the dimension tool. So I can, oops, undo. So I'm going to grab my dimension tool again. There we go. That shows me how long my wall is, so then I could take this out. It looks a little prettier. There we go. Okay. That's all that tool does. Next is our windows. You can double click windows to select all the different types of windows that you want. <laughs> Make sure when you put your windows in, you can see that it makes the wall vanish in there. Okay, that's the important part of that. And then once it's in place, you can double click it and change what type it is if you want to from there. You can flip it, or you can make it a super huge window. If I hold it down, the plus key, then it tells me how many inches it is, and I can make it 120 inches. Because it's a 10 foot window but I don't want that type. I'm going to change the type so it slides open. Done. So I have a ginormous window in my tiny house. Okay, next to that is doors. So I'm going to take the walls first and put walls in. Don't draw rectangles over rectangles. Actually draw walls. Make sure the corners all connect and nothing overlaps. Sticking out from the wall. Okay. 
and put a door in there, same as Windows. You can double click and select the door. You can do the bifold, the sliding doors, regular door openings. Since it's a tiny house, I'm going to use sliding doors so that way they don't swing into my floor plan because I don't have a lot of room. Okay. I'm going to go to my furniture. If I double click it, remember I have my bathroom, kitchen, bedroom, miscellaneous. We talked about electrical. If you want to learn how to do that, you can. So I'm going to do my, make sure my bathroom fits. Now that it puts it in perspective of how small that is. Okay. And then I should make sure at least I have a sink. Now I don't want my sink facing that way, do I? So then I go to the joystick tool. It's going to highlight here. It's the one between the A and the camera. Flip it around. Grab it. Well, I probably don't want it. Yeah, let's move some things around. Let's put the toilet there. The sink over here. And we'll put the sink that way on the wall. And we'll see if we have room for a tiny shower in the corner too. I think it'll be pushing it. Let's see, small shower. Okay. Gonna bump all these walls out just a little bit, just see if I can do this. Let's double click it and try to move it that way. Draw a new one. Sometimes that's our best option. There. So now I can make my objects fit in my bathroom with one more reason. There. Tiny house, tight spaces. Okay. So we talked about our furniture. Good. Next, we're going to talk. This is just a text box. You can drop it in there and label all objects. It's nice to put this in there sometimes so I have one more way to remember who's working on stuff. Put that right in there. Okay. So that would be everything. Other than that, you could look at the settings, which is that square on the top. Remember, you have feet and inches in there. You can change your background color from light to dark. You can you cannot save any of your objects. Remember that. You could change that grid pattern that shows up in the backside. You can click on the instructions. This will answer any more questions you guys have. It's pretty easy to follow along. Gives you all the information right on the screen there. Okay, so feel free to use that, it's super helpful. Okay, um, what else am I going to show you guys here? Um, eighth graders, I'm going to give, give you a drop for each day's assignment. So your first floor should be done. For second hour, should have your first floor done already. Fifth hour, you guys will be working on it on Tuesday. And then Wednesday, you guys should get your second floor done for, for, for those classes. And then everything will be wrapped up and turned in. I'd like that done by Thursday at the latest Friday this week, but do not put it off. If you get done, I'll put an extra credit assignment in there. Some of you guys may want to do that. It won't be the worst decision ever. Um, so I'm going to highlight. I get it zoomed in. 
So everything fits really nice. I can read everything. I could take a screenshot of it. Okay. And then go home. And you go right to your Schoology. We're going to select the assignment. So I'm going to go to one of my, my courses because I have classes I'm in. Just to give you an example. And then I'm going to click add. Nope. Uh, I don't know if there's a way I can do this. Sketch noting. Note submission there. You guys would go submission, add, submit a photo or video, select it on your camera roll, check, check, and it will be uploaded. You can see already here, 8th graders, this is where I've added turn in floor 1 right here. You can see the submissions already that came in for that class. So, that is an example of what to do and how to use PadCAD. Feel free to rewatch the video, ask others for help. Remember to have that charged iPad with you every day. And good luck. And you can try to message me or email me if you have questions. And I'll be looking at my computer throughout the day as well. So. Hope this goes well for you. Thanks.